Hey there, everybody. Donald Sarah here. Uh, coming to you from Donna Blastcap. I haven't done a video with her in a while, so I figured this one would be a good one for her. Uh, I just wanted to say I've been getting a few messages on my last LVI video. Um, I actually had one person delete their posts like three times and then say that they figured it out on their own. Um, I want to just stress before I start this video that I am not LVI support. I do not want to be LVI support. If you have a problem, if you can't figure something out, don't leave me a comment. I really don't want your comments if they're going to be like that. I want to stress, just stress, 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 that you go to the Tokui forum, it's like tokui.com, I have a link down in this description, go to Tokui, go to the LVI section, go through and just read, there's a nice little search feature on the forum, see if your problem's already been brought up, if it hasn't, make a topic on there. There's quite a few people on there that are way more knowledgeable about the UI than I am that would be more than happy to help you figure out what it is that you need to get figured out with the UI. That said, I'm going to show you some nice easy things about the UI just right now. Just show you where stuff is that I know where it is. And this is current as of, what is it, uh, LVI 3.0.8, I want to say. Um, what is it? Go into all of my add-on spam here. LVI 3.0.8, yeah. And it says right there, uh, oh, it's tookui.org, not com. Uh, type EC to access the in-game configuration menu. If you are in need of technical support, you can visit us at tokui.org slash forum slash forum blah 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 blah. Go to the forum if you need help. The absolute worst place to get support for anything is YouTube comments. I'm just saying. Waka waka. Anyway. To start this off, probably the most asked about, to the point that Elv actually made something in the, uh, the installer. Like the little install message that comes up when you first install it that says, set up this, set up that. At the very end of it, he actually added in something new to tell people where this is because people keep asking him and it's getting annoying. Where is the micro menu? Yes, that menu that has all the buttons that you click for your character, for your crap, all whatever it is. Put your cursor up on the minimap. Middle click. Character info, spell books and abilities, all of that stuff is in there. And there's an alternative method. I'm just going to run this. Yes, the installer. This is actually really good. But, um... Here at the end, it tells you... If you wish to access Blizzard Micro Menu, middle click on the minimap. If you don't have a middle click button, hold down Shift and right click the minimap. If you are in need of technical support, please visit us at tokui.org. There. That is like the most asked about thing it seems like. I've got an issue. I can't find that menu. Where is it? Help me, help me, help me. UI sucks because I can't do this. Because I can't find the buttons. There it is. Right there. It's not that hard. Anyway, moving on. 
I just want to show you guys, uh, now that that's out of the way, I just want to show you guys, you know, where stuff is, what stuff does in the config. I mean, I've made some edits myself to what I've got on here. So you type in slash EC. That brings up everything. I do not want to restore defaults. That brings up everything. Alright. You can move your experience slash rep position to either be over or under the minimap. If you click it, it goes away until you hover over it. I like it below my minimap. And it still does the same thing down there. You know, you can play around with the, the stuff in here. If you want to get, like, class color theme going, you gotta do most of it manually, but if you click on this little C right here, this little C will do the class colors. So you just do that on, like, all your characters. You know, move it around. Oh no, everything is bright pinkish purple. What do I do? Click C. It makes it your class color. You know, action bars, I move mine around. Or I moved mine around. You know, I've got my, my bar 1. I've got it set up with a height multiplier of 3. That is what makes the background go around all the rest of them. And I changed the anchor point to top left. But I mean, that makes it taller and adds in all the blank spots where I put bars 2 and bars 3. I can go, <clears throat> excuse me, I can go higher, whatever. I can go up to 5. So I could fit all five bars in there. You know, bar two is normally not visible. You have to make it visible. I believe it was bar two. One of these bars is not normally visible and you have to actually make it visible. Just click enable. You know, you can turn on and off, backdrop on these, you can do whatever. Yeah, I think the default's bottom left for bar 1. I changed it to top left because I like to have my my actual action bar, main action bar on top and then my F1 through F8 modified bar below that just because I'm weird like that. For bars 4 and 5, you know, I have it set for buttons per row for four, and then I got all 12 turned on. You know, by default, I want to say they had it at six and six. I prefer it have all my buttons there with four and 12. That way I don't have any missing buttons. It's all there. Beautiful. I pulled that sidebar over. Um, I had issues with the pet bar. This is actually going to be a little technical freebie. I had to uh, ask Elv for help. And he said to give you help with setting up the pet bar if you're not a class that has like permanent pet or something. Change it from show hide to show show. There it is. That's where my pet bar is. I mean, it's... You know, that's a little bit more technical. I can understand asking about that. I don't really do anything else with that. I don't know how to do anything else with that. Other than that show hide. You know, they've, they've got them in some of the other stuff. You can do changes with your uh, your shape shift bar. Something I've never really looked at is cooldown text. What is this? Oh, okay. That's probably... I want to say that's probably the overlay. But I don't know. Don't, like, you know, hold me to that. What's this? Uh, oh. 
okay? But yeah, you know, you can you can move all this stuff, you can change it to have a backdrop to work on mouse over, whatever. You know, chat has just a couple of options right now, not all that many. You've got stuff for class timers that I don't really mess with because they're they're good as they are to me at least you know your data texts are all in here there isn't quite as many as there was it looks like he added a few more um, but I mean I have all the ones that I used for the most part you know I do miss having that uh, coordinates block and all that up here with the couple extra data texts where I would put my time and my performance but I mean it's not the end of the world difference um, I can change though I was a real big fan of the whole spec switch thing even though I never switched my spec it was nice to have it there what I had before but um, it's not really important put durability yeah that's what I had before durability and I mean you see I'm clicking it and it's changing it in real time that's one of the big features that Elv wanted to get with this UI is make it so that you could have a lot more customizability and that you would be able to do so with having to do less reloads. I have not had a single reload thing pop up here. I mean, it would ask for one if I had finished the install, but I mean, that's because that's some of the stuff that does need it. You know, nameplates I haven't really messed too much with. Cat, you're laying on my mouse pad. Kitty. My cat. But, um, you know, I mean, you can you change all this, whatever. Pretty sure I haven't changed really anything. I might have turned on, like, personal debuffs or something like that, or enhanced threat. I made the bad skull a bit bigger. That's about it. Um, somebody figured out something with the, uh, the world map issue. I'm actually going to turn that back on. But, um, somebody figured out something with the world map issue. It was some way that the code was made for the, the show and hide and whatnot. Um, I'm not going to go into that here, though. I'm going to put something uh, over top of my last video or a link or something like that to point people to what was fixed. It does take some Lua editing, but it's just like replacing two lines with two lines that basically do the exact same thing, just are worded differently. But anyway, that's kind of fixed. It's just you got to actually work a little bit. Tool tips. You know, I said it for smart, I really don't know what the difference is between anchor cursor and smart. I know anchor will put it on the little anchor bar thingy, and cursor will put it on the cursor, and I was going with cursor for a while. I switched it to smart, I'll just leave it that. Unit frames, you know, you can, I mess around with a little bit in here. You know, you can change the width or the height, which I upped mine to about 70. And yes, you can click and drag that. I changed it to about 70. Make it a little bit taller, because I like it a little bit taller. And then that adds a little bit more room for a portrait, and I just kind of zoomed it out to two, because I kind of felt like one was a little bit too... I mean, it doesn't really show all that much of a difference, but one before was just like, or maybe it's not dynamically updating that for me. Yeah, it's not. Whatever. There's a 
there's still a couple of things that don't work 100%, but, you know, I like it zoomed out about there, and that's, when I do it on 2, that's where I get it, so. I just know I want it on 2. I mean, and then you got, like, the profiles, which I've made a couple of extra profiles. I made a heel question mark. An uber low res. The uber low res is actually kind of fun. I made it uh, so that if I need to switch my screen to like like the lowest res or like pretty darn low res or something. So if I need to have like something else off to the side and I want to play in windowed mode, I actually have a resolution that works good for uber low res. Credits, whatnot, right there, Don Horn. I mean, toggle anchors, and it's nice, it hides that now, which it didn't originally, but it hides that. And you can move everything around. And look, you can even see where I have everything set up. You know, we've got loot frame over here. Achievement frames, loot roll frame, that boss button that I've never actually seen work. The cool line, I've got it dragged down here with enough room for like all the raid party whatnot stuff over here. Player, pet. Target, target to target, focus, arena and bosses. I moved the uh, the battle dot or no wait, I think the battle.net was actually down here by default after some tooltip down here. You can't see it, but uh, actually, I'll bring up deadly boss mods and show. You know, this is where I've got DBM set to kind of scroll up, which I can probably move these a little bit. Um, yeah, zoop, over to there, and that goes just above the raid frames. Yeah, um, what was it? No, that's not what I wanted. Uh, oh, alt right click. Now let me show you. Where was that? Uh, the test. So now I'm getting into my other add ons. But there is a button around here somewhere. Yeah, it's not that. There is like a test mode option. A uh, test layout right there. Now that goes over to there. Yeah, I haven't fixed it in Donna yet, because I fixed it in Don Horn. I mean, everything, any add-on that you have is going to be, whoa, is going to be editable with, like, sliders and stuff like that, and... As long as you take the time to poke at it, <clears throat> there you go. Doesn't that just look nice? Okay, there it is. See? And then this, I can turn off the test layout. Lock that. We'll just do this real quick, and then I will show you that cool line with the uh, the L view is fixed. Once you do that little bit of Lua editing, 
by turning on the world by with the world map on again. Now we're behind me. All right. So world map is on again. It's all awesome. And now that's working again. Little little bars moving down. So there you go. Come back over here. So there you go. That's all. That's all working again. And you can see, I was having fun with the transmog. Oh, that that the whole help part, showing you where stuff is part. That's done now. But I want to show you guys something. I can't remember if I said it before or not, but um, I figured out something with the transmog. I can transmog to all of my pirate gear, which do I have it in my bag? No, I don't. I probably put it away, but I can transmog all my pirate gear. Like the first mate hat, I farmed around for that. Uh, I didn't reforge the back, but I can do azure silk vest, which is that blue vest that I'm wearing right there. You know, you can, you can reforge most of it. Pants are the azure silk pants. I just left my belt because it actually kind of matched. I left my belt and what was it? I reforged my gloves to the uh, like the what is it? Like the tier 12 or something normal gloves. I did that. The Buccaneers boots are reforgeable. I mean, you can you can reforge some pirate gear and get a silly look. But anyway, that's uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to show you guys. So you all, you have a very happy Christmas. I hope you enjoy this little uh, this little Christmas present, mini Deathwing his head and a knife. But yeah, um, that's really, that's really about it. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas, and I hope this video actually helps you. And before I go, stressing again, if you need help with anything, don't ask me for help with anything. If you have a question about something I changed in the UI, something about my layout, maybe my my SCADA frame down here, or something. If you have questions about that, feel free to ask me about that stuff in the comments. If you have a question about support with the UI, about where do I find the uh, micro menu, how do I get to my spell book? Whatever that is, don't ask me. Please. Go to tukui.org, go to the LVUI section, and post your request for help there. Or use the search and find where somebody else had that. Quite a few times you can actually go and look at the GitHub version of the UI and see that Elf UI, or that Elf, added something to Elf UI in response to what your problem might be. And it just hasn't been pushed to a new version number yet and updated on Curse or whatever site, other sites he hosted on. But Go to the forum, and that's where you're going to get your best help. Not from YouTube. 